this undemined emission coming from New York Toad City on the Toad Cam. Salvia divinorum and further thoughts on Salvia divinorum. Um, please do watch my other my other videos on Salvia and especially the ones that involve suggestions, warnings, and concerns. I am by no means advocating Salvia for every person. It is a very, very powerful divinatory and very, very powerful psycho-exploratory substance that can, in the right set of circumstances, take you places that are as deep as, as you can go. As, as far as, I think, as far as consciousness alteration. If you're going to, to take the time and trouble to go there, make sure you're, you're going there with, with purpose and make sure you're going there in the right setting. Um, I have discovered, found on um, Amazon, I found this book on Salvia Divinorum, Doorway to Thought-Free Awareness by an author going by the name of J.D. Arthur. It's Salvia Divinorum, Doorway to Thought-Free Awareness. Small book, readable book, very specific to Arthur's experience. He's not what I would call a, a real hard psychonaut. I would consider myself a, probably a, a real hard psychonaut. I, I use large quantities of 50x. He uses uh, 5x, so there's about a, a, a order of magnitude difference in the doses that Arthur takes and I take. What you will find in Arthur's book, though, which is very interesting stuff, um, you will find a number of the same concerns that I have, that it's, it's something that should not be used as a, as a thrill-seeking substance. Arthur, very, very fascinatingly, believes that he is able to enter into the world of the dead or enter into the realm of, uh, I don't know what they are, souls or spirits or um, something that he uh, understands as communicating with the non-living humans in some other energetic plane. That's his experience. And he says in his book that he, this first appeared to him to be sort of a, a ludicrous hallucinatory experience, but as he continued and this experience this, uh, of, of entering this realm became deeper and more real to him, he, he became absolutely convinced that he could enter into an entirely different realm of being that, that was very consistent. And uh, he developed some relationship with this extraordinary realm of consciousness. In some of my earlier exper experiments with, with salvia, with a liquid form, I did feel the sense of breaking through into another world, another area where I would uh, converse with, um, it, it, it seemed like very real, like a very, if it were a dream or something, a dream, like a very real contact, like with another, um, another figure that was an advisor or a, um, uh, someone I was having a conversation with, that, that I was going there to meet someone that had some uh, profound insight or a very, very deep discussion to have with me. And um, I found that very odd because uh, when I, I had never heard about J.D. Arthur or anything like that, but the number of people who report the idea that you are entering into another realm where you have some meaningful discussion. You're not just out there randomly tripping around, but you, you actually go and have some, some form of interaction with some other intelligence and some other entity. Uh, yes, I've, I've had that experience. On um, the, the 50x dose, which is probably, you know, in, in the case of the stuff from Arena Ethnobotanicals is probably uh, as much uh, salvinorin as you could put on a leaf. Um, I do, I do go to a very different place, which is just sort of a, a more of a pure energy area. But also I listen, as you saw, with, um, with very, very good uh, headphones that do a very, very good system, good uh, headphone amplifiers. And I was listening uh, last night or no, the night before, two nights, before, two nights ago, I was listening to my old... Um, Jimi Hendrix in the West Japanese CD, the Japanese uh, Polydor pressing of in the West. 
And so I smoked the a bowl, a large bowl, a deep lung full of 50X, and started off with Johnny Be Good, went through Lover Man, Blue Suede Shoes, and uh, finally somewhat began to regain something like consciousness around the, around the time we hit Voodoo Child, slight return. And uh, during the period of listening to Johnny Be Good, Lover Man, Blue Suede Shoes, the, the music it was so solid, so physically solid, and the, it seemed to be happening in a way that I had become unified with Jimi Hendrix's mind, that I was actually experiencing what Hendrix was experiencing from his perspective of, of playing those songs. And the music was going by very, at a very leisurely pace. And if you know those songs, they're played, they're, they're, they're very, very fast. But I was hearing them as if they were, he was just sort of, just sort of lightly strumming along and just enjoying everything about every note in a, in a very, just this sort of decompose this into this, this very observable structure where I was just sort of taking in, I was uh, absorbing his thought process. So I was, the, it went from the music itself to the actually feeling as if I were profoundly connecting with Hendrix's mind and Hendrix's thought processes as he was generating that and his level of interest and in what he was focusing on. And these things that would go by in just a flash or, or certain riffs or fills that would go by in just a, a blink in sort of normal consciousness time, we're, we're taking, it seemed like, minutes just to explore them and understand them and try subtle variations. So I, I did have this sort of a complete fusion with Hendrix and Hendrix's interest and Hendrix's mindset and Hendrix's uh, sensibilities and feelings of exploration and I was hearing these chords and lines just laid out so so gently and patiently and uh, just, just slowly kind of working through them dong 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 ding dong ding dong ding dong bong ding ding and and the various strategies he was employing so I don't know if that's the same thing as entering into another another reality uh, I, I do feel that I had really left in a sense my personal inner consensus reality and entered into the inner consensus reality of another being and was able to very deeply appreciate how that other being perceived the, the creative process. And of course the next day after that, you know, I felt like I'd attended the greatest concert I'd ever heard. I, I was just some kind of inner deep cerebellum um, buzz that was going on having witnessed that and having entered into that, that state of consciousness. So um, Salvia can definitely, absolutely, where I put my thing, Salvia can definitely, absolutely um, take you, I believe, into other dimensions of consciousness and whether or not that means con con contacting other forms of awareness or uh, simply generating something that's like a model of other forms of awareness in your mind, I don't know. But it, it, it was as absolutely breathtaking, I think, as, as any experience of, of uh, any experience of an art form could, could conceivably possibly be.